Good morning, everybody. This is Jeff from Motorcycles and Jesus. I am in Florida at Vero Beach, staying at this campground, Vero Beach Campground. And I just wanted to show you all my little uh, rig that I set up. I built this, um, I guess you would call it, <laughs> it's it's hard to tell you what it's called because it's, it's a combination of a lot of things. So I would, I would say a camper, uh, convert it into a camper, utility trailer, motorcycle hauler, whatever you can imagine. But I've been staying down here for about a week, visiting with my nephew. <clears throat> I've been playing this trip since May. I've worked on this camper uh, from May right up till the time I left. So still, I've been down here for seven days and I'm still working on it. <laughs> so, but uh, I just want to turn the camera around, show you exactly where, <clears throat> what this is. I'll give you a little tour of the outside a little tour of the electrical how the water works how all those things work and uh and i uh, hope you enjoy it so when you walk you can see you walk in the door the front door and then there's cabinets over into the left back here got cabinets and storage over in here to the left that's basically my utility closet <clears throat> i keep the bedding and stuff up here which is cool plenty of storage coffee stuff goes here and then you pan around and kind of see i bought a futon yesterday that i've been sleeping on and it it's not the most comfortable thing in the world but it's better than an air mattress and i'm working the things out to make a more comfortable bed there and as you pan around here you can see this is like the kitchen area this is a sink that i got from harbored freight and then an old cabinet that i had this water thing is collect that i got from amazon actually goes on a five gallon little water tank and it's got a hose that goes in there it's usb underneath that there's a five gallon uh water jug and then i've got a five gallon like a drywall bucket for my gray water <coughs> well five gallon of fresh water into the gray water so you pretty much know when you bug light. And then <clears throat> I got a little mini fridge that's, that runs off 110, which is, it works out perfect. I just happened to have it. And then over here is another little ottoman that I added. Clothing storage. Here's where I keep clothes. And then up here is the pantry and some other knickknack stuff inside of there i have a shower uh, outside shower thing and i also bought you know i know this is not the only all the own pleasant thing somebody made a comment about this a friend of mine but this goes on top of a bucket and you can use it to use the bathroom in i usually just use number one in it late at night and uh, put some cat litter in it <clears throat> which works fine for me and don't smell or anything i got a little small uh, vacuum cleaner where I vacuum and keep my garbage there a little bit of storage underneath here there's storage inside that ottoman also and as you walk outside I'll show you the outside this is pretty cool a little step to walk in and you can see this little thing I got from Home Depot that opens up and closes as a little net and shut the door <laughs> I actually built this, like I said, several months ago. That's the two back doors, just regular back door. And then here's the setup that I'm on right now. Little fire pit we went out. Water over here. Another little shot of the front of it. That's a pretty neat little deal. Got that set up. Here's the front of it, a little vent hole in the front there to keep the electrical and stuff, a little side view. And then on the inside of here is all the guts. Back there in the back is a 100 amp hour battery, a DC to DC charger, a re energy DC to DC charger, a 3000 watt inverter. And I have also have two solar panels. Uh, 30 watt energy uh, 
solar controller, control charger. This is my fresh water, and this is my gray water. So it's very easy just to take that loose. And you can see kind of from up underneath how I plumbed it all up and made it in there. And then we added this vent. So we were able to ventilate uh, inside the camper to where the batteries are stored. So, and then I just bought some regular little jacks to jack it up on all four corners. And we're set up here. A couple windows in the door right now. Uh, and normally you don't, normally you don't worry about heat. <laughs> you don't worry about heat when you're in Florida. But let me tell you something, it got cold a couple nights. So yesterday I went to, when I went to Walmart, I had, um, went and bought a little small space heater and it worked good it worked really good last night just a little small and i mean this is only like 64 square feet uh the lighting is just some battery operated touch lights that i purchased from amazon another one underneath there this is a neat little system i'm telling you this water thing works killer you just barely touch it it lights up works good i mean no expensive pumps, just recharge it every once in a while. It works really well. And I've got a couple fans just in the windows. These two windows side to side from across each other for a reason. So you can get like a little cross breeze in here and have some air flowing and it doesn't get all that hot. I'm going to add an air conditioner to the top up here um, eventually. And as you can see, the top of it's made out of metal. I've uh, used paneling on the wall to have, there's a bunch of stuff that I need to finish on it. I haven't finished yet. This is just some paneling I turned around backwards. I'm going to make that look a lot better too. And this thing is also capable of, you know, hauling a motorcycle in it. That, but is it, this is actually a double door. That was an old door that I bought on Facebook Marketplace, I think it was. Another light up here, put a little light underneath the bottom mount here. And you can just add those lights. I've got some of them that are just on Velcro, so I can move them around, put them outside. They take AAA battery. You know, this is my entertainment. Of course, I'm most of the time watching YouTube. And then over here, I bought this ottoman, and I just made, you know, I was in here <coughs> for about a week. Well, not for about a week. Yeah, for about a week, I was in here. It didn't have no indoor. I had no indoor setting. I just had an air mattress that I blew up. So all in the next video, and like I say, I always say, God bless you, and we'll see you later. Bye.